Well hello and welcome, Lucy here and I'm going to do my own personal review of the contrast paints. As you can see we have got a handful, not too many because they just only, only had limited stock but what we did get, wow, absolute wow. I am not the best painter especially when it comes to the finer detail, uh, highlighting up, edging, technical stuff I can't do it I try I try I try and I just mess it up so first thing I did was 20 zombies so the skin I did it was skeleton hard one coat and that's it highlighted itself the top is two quarts of Magos Purple and what I'm really most I'm impressed with with the contrast is the blue and the green that we used. It is on this guy's trousers it is dark angels green and the blue is Levadon blue. That is one quart of it. All that highlighting and darkness in the recess, it did it itself. That's it. One quart. And I'm just, I can't believe it. Because I would not, I would not have gotten these skeletons. Based the trousers, then highlighted them up, washed them, highlighted, dry brushed, I wouldn't have. I'd put one base colour on and that was it. But look at the results. There is a diff like loads of different skin, um, but we could only get that one, the skeleton horde and the fire slayer flesh, which I thought was too dark. Since managed to get the Dracoth flesh and it's even better. There. I started working on uh, Tony's Halfland team for Blood Bowl and look at that, I absolutely love that. Again, one quart and done. That's all that is, one quart. So I decided let's try some characters. Here we have the Tomb Banshee for my death one thing on her is not contrast colour and it's her skin which is nickelide, nickelide oxide the hair is sh shayish purple you can't really see on camera it looks very dark and very black but in person when you turn it on the light it's amazing it's very dark here but the further down you go it's, it's just brilliant what I have done is a uh, luscious lilac just did a few on the bits on the end, a few, a few of the tips. I'm really sorry if I'm really bad with the camera, I'm not used to this. Anyway, the cloak is warp lightning green. When I first put it on, I was not happy. I was like, oh no. Once it dried, I was like, hell yes. And all I've done is got some white scar and basically dry brushed the tip. And I think I might do a little bit more. But other than that, I love it. Her corset, and this bit here is two quarts of the Black Templar, I think it's called. Now, the first quart, I don't know. I just thought I could have done a bit more. So I did the second one. And it has took some of the natural highlighting off. But this guy was done with one quarter of it. Now I think it's amazing. It's not a perfect highlighted up cloak. It you can see it looks worn, it looks like it's blown in the wind even. It's got the natural highlights that you need in the darkness and I just wow. The book that is two or three quarts of the Dracoth flesh, 
I thought a flesh coloured book for a uh, flesh quartered book for a necromancer, why not? The bags and the ribbons at the top is one quart of the Blood Angels Red. His hair, I'll show you more hair on a zombie, hang on. It's one quart of the I can't even say that. Nasdreg. No. Oh, I am in yellow. I am in yellow. Just one quart and I was done. So that little purple, uh, the pinkish patch in his clothes, that is voluptuous pink. And his flesh is the the Dracoth. Yeah, Dracoth. <laughs> he's, he's done. He's done. It took us like 10, 20 minutes to include drying time. The wood for his staff is the snake bite leather. I think I'll, I'll love it and I won't change it, but for other wooden sticks and whatnot doing, I might either do two quarts or we might pick another, a, a different brown up. But the skeletons from start, including the spraying, which I will point out, we just use the normal Wilkinson's or Range or other primer. We haven't used this specific contrast primer and it's just the same effect. So, how long did it take you to do them 20 zombies? The 20 now? zombies from start to finish, yeah, two hours, including drying time, two hours. Like the purple is the Magos again, and I did do two quarts because I thought one quart wasn't quite enough, so I did use their uh, lead belcher for the weapons of silver, but again, on these. The bone, uh, the wood, sorry, the snake bite, and that is two quarts of it, which is better. Yeah, we, we only picked up the one brown. Um, there's about four different browns mm -hmm. available. Um, just from me looking at Lucy painting these, I think for, for things like zombies, skeletons, ghouls, I think for lizard men, it's going to be very, very good. Yeah, they're not going to be good though for vehicles, for flat surfaces, flat armour, any space marines, storm cast, even orcs, I don't think it's going to be as good. But for stuff like this, I mean, who doesn't want to paint 20 zombies in two hours and they'll be finished? What else it is good for, which I decided to give a try today, a zombie dragon. This is just the main bits one quart of the Magos purple. My The rest of my flesh eaters are washed, sprayed white and washed with Druchy Violet. But I thought I'll give this a go and yeah, I love it. The muscles bits, that the muscle bits um, here, they are the Shaiish purple. I don't know why some things that is amazing like a hair but some th other things, it's not. I did me. What's it called? Vargulf Courtier. Vargulf Courtier. With the fur on him, the shayish purple, and his back to spread white. Didn't like him at all. The thing I, just from observing, I think the shayish purple is too dark. Mm -hmm. And I think the Magos purple is too light. Yeah. On certain things, because here is the zombie's wing in. Shayish purple and I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I've already got two dragons done and to do one set of them in the with paints the way I did them before it took me over an hour. I painted two of these oh yeah I've missed a few bits but that's something. 10 15 minutes done so I might do a little bit highlighting on these, I'm not sure yet, but it's just amazing, honestly amazing. Definitely standout colours at the minute. The Levidon Blue and the Dark Angels 
green the blood angels red yes it's only a little bit you can barely make out but i can imagine on a, something a bit bigger it's going to be amazing i think i'll be good on like a magma droth for the um, yes. fire slayers yeah the black ah right i did do my zombies shoes black but they're stuck on the base now trust oh no sorry yeah i've done his cloak i've done his cloak so I am so impressed with these. The f the the flesh, um, the Draco flesh is phenomenal, and I don't really do much flesh stuff. In it. Anything from now on though is gone. This. <laughs> so this is my review from someone who does enjoy painting, but gets frustrated at all the technical work that needs to go in, and how much a little model with barely a sieve how much detail and how much time it would normally take I, it does put people off i am one of them but 20 zombies it, it definitely makes hordes easier mm -hmm. i think for a more experienced painter or somebody who's prepared to put a lot of layers on you know wash dry brush wet blend things like that i think it's a handy tool for some things yeah but i don't think contrast is the be all and end all for people who are in the hobby for painting no. i think for people that just want their armies painted they mm -hmm. don't mind you know if it's not quite as good as some other people's yeah. but or, they just want them yeah. painted i mean the zombies yes i could have spent basing washing and highlighting up but who wants to sit for hours upon hours to paint a zombie yeah when i mean I could never get that, the trousers alone, I could never get that myself with normal brushwork, never. So for me it is honestly going, it's just breathing a fresh perspective on a painting for me and I cannot wait. Like I, I sat for hours today, I am literally in agony with my back because I was enjoying myself so much and I will be carrying on with the halflands when I finish this. Anyway, let us know what you think of the contrasts. Have you tried them? One more thing actually. Now available. Oh. Pick two of these up for £12 in GW. Now, if you want to store it, it's brilliant. But if you're using it, Keep a space between or just fiddle around. Yeah, you're not knocking any paints over again. Okay, I was using it last night. I took the yellow out and I spilled the yellow. But, but it's brilliant. I mean, and then put them all away. Out the way, tidy desk. They do come with keyboard stands and you sit in the nest so they can actually be like stand up on an angle like that but yeah that the paint will fall out of that unless you run out but 12 quid for two it's going to be brilliant anyway that is my review again let us know what you think of them send us a message with some painting photos from the contrast we'd love to see them and thanks for watching <laughs>